Good morning, casting class. Today we're going to be talking about silicone. Now, urethane was stuff we used last time. Silicone is another type of uh, rubber chemicals that can be used to mold and cast. Now, this is some silicones are made that way. Some silicones you can get at like Home Depot or Lowe's. This is actually the stuff, if you've got a fish tank or something, this is the silicone sealant that's in the corners sealing two pieces of glass together. It's clear. Now, the thing about silicone that is great is that it gets some very intimate detail, especially when you're dealing with some of the molding stuff. The thicker stuff is a little different. Um, it does a really good job putting together. Now, one of the things they've done when they put this thing, these uh, chemicals in here, they colorize them. So unlike the other stuff, which is just sort of brown or tan, this stuff comes in interesting colors. And some of the stuff actually, like when you mix the two chemicals together, you can tell by the color whether you've actually got a good mix or not. If you're still seeing some purple or some pink, you haven't mixed it all together. So that's a nice side benefit. And one of the downsides of silicone though, is it is very viscous, very thick. This stuff, for example, is really heavily thick. It's like it does not just sit there and flow around all the details of our piece. It has to be pushed. This stuff does flow, but a lot of the silicones that they produce are very viscous and have to be vacuum degassed. Weird looking stuff. It's like you put it in a big vat, suck out all the air, and the thing falls like a souffle. But without getting the bubbles out, the bubbles stay in the material and you get like bubbles on the surface of your thing screwing up the detail. It makes it look all pimply. So, positives and negatives. Now this particular kind of uh, silicone that we've got here, this is Mold Star Fast. This is one of the ones they do that do not require vacuum degassing. It's rather nice that way. Um, so we're gonna start off with this. This has also been sitting around for a year, but I did check, it's not solid. So, I am going to put on the cafeteria gloves. It's been a little bit of time since I did the release on this thing. We're gonna use the same little old thing I did last time that didn't work. So I'm just gonna release that again. Do the little brush trick. Come on, brush. Make sure we get into all the nooks and crannies. Now, the other, one of the other good things about silicone is it does not have the same kind of adhesive properties. It doesn't stick to a lot of other things that aren't silicone. So, the release is less of an issue on a lot of silicone pieces. But, the other thing about silicone is some of these molds don't last for more long enough. We have a lot of these things in the mold library that's been around for a while, and some of the silicone ones start to deteriorate, start to fall apart after a while, whereas the latex ones will last a good long time. All right, now, two parts. Same amount of each part, so I'm gonna pour out some of this part A, which is this thick, goopy white stuff. Again, you can see how viscous this stuff is. Come on, come on, get some out, come on, you can do it. There we go, all right, blobular. All right, so that's one part, part two, or part B. Let's see what this stuff looks like. Ah, very blue this time. Now I gotta make sure I get about the same amount of each. A little more of this. The other stuff, I usually like using those like solo cups because they got the rings on the side of them and then they are very handy for like you can see exactly how thick stuff is. All right, now. When you are mixing, what they suggest is you pour one into the other, mix it real good, then pour the other one back to the first. Now, this has Remember pot life? We talked about pot life. This particular stuff is fast. The pot life on this is six minutes. So from the minute time A hits B, six minutes is counting, then it starts to gel. I don't know if the video is gonna last that long, but let's see. All right, all of this goes into there. Come on. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a multi-step process. So, mixing this together. And because it's fast, I have to make, you know, make some work on this, get it to happen quickly. Now I'm going to pour it back into the first cup, try to get all of it. Part of the issue with this viscous stuff when you're dealing with equal parts, A and B, is that you can't lose part of it. You can't have it not mix. All the parts that don't mix happily will not be good silicone. They won't set up right. So, mixing it nice and solid and good. Don't see any inconsistencies, don't see any odd parts of it. Like I said, the part that when they're two different colors makes it really easily, easily dealt with. 
Now, when I pour this in, I don't want to pour it on top of the shell. I want to pour it to the side and let it flow up and around the shell. I still got some bubbles in there. Remember, I'm going to still do the tapping thing, but this is not going to be holding the bubbles like some of the more viscous stuff is. So I just keep pouring this out. And six minutes from now, this will harden up and won't be able to deal with it. And next time, we'll be able to unpot this Check this out with the next video coming up in a couple days and see how this comes out. And then we'll make another shell. So, getting there, it's going to be a little thin from the look of it. On top there. But hopefully it'll be good enough. Seems to be getting everything, covering everything. And again, tapping it to get all the stuff out of it. My hands are all sticky and goopy and there is not... Uh, see if I can get a little more out of this one. Try to get a little more on top of that top. Now one of the things that you can do to this stuff if you're getting thin areas or if you're getting um, spots that you feel are going to be weak is you can add fiber into it. Now that's starting to set up now. Look at that. This stuff has also been sitting around for a year like the other, like the other stuff. So it might, in some cases, we'll see if we got a disaster next time, there might be nothing. Here. It might not set up at all. It might still be a bucket of goop two days from now. All right. Now, this kind of silicone, if you are in a position to get out to Home Depot and Lowe's and check this stuff out, they do have this stuff available. It does take a lot longer to set up. The pot life on this thing is like three or four days before it finally sets up. And like I said, it's very thick. So uh, I will do a project where I use this silicone in the near future so you can see how that works. But I want to continue moving with this and let this set up a little more. And we will unbox this next time. So that is silicone, one of the various kinds of rubbers that we are going to mess with. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.